History has been written by the victors, and that means one thing, it's full of agenda, fabrications, and the Rashomon effect. And here are some of the worst cases. These are the 20 biggest lies told in history. Number 20. The Moai Heads For our first one, we're not so much going to talk about a lie so much as a hidden truth, and you'll understand in the end. On Easter Island, there are sculptures known as the Moai Heads that were made by the mysterious people called the Rapa Nui. There are many legends that surround these people, so to see their works be so prevalent on the island is a great insight into who they were. As you'll tell from these pictures and videos, these heads aren't very small. That means that they had to go into great detail in order to chisel them to achieve the look that they have now. It's important to note that they used stones from the island to make these heads, so everything they did was within their reach. The hidden truth is something that oftentimes goes forgotten until someone brings it up again. Mainly, these heads have bodies. Yes, when the Rapa Nui made these statues, they weren't only heads, they had full bodies. An excavation project made it so that they could dig down to see just how deep the bodies went, and the answer was pretty dang deep. And if you just look at pictures of the finished excavation, you'll see how astonishing the results were. The reason that we only see the heads of the statues now is a mixture of people dumping deposits of the islands, and the island itself naturally weathering and eroding until the ground went from the statue's base to its shoulders and then its heads. That revelation puts a whole new twist on the Rapa Nui legend, because why were they so determined to make such statues, and how did they make them to such size in such numbers with only the resources on the island? We may never know the truth. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Let's talk about the Great Wall of China. Many believe it's in pretty good condition, but it's actually in considerable ruins. Is this one of the biggest lies told in history? Maybe. It's not an international lie, but maybe there's just communication issues. But given the Great Wall is a major piece of China's defense and a key national symbol, I'd say that there's a chance that this is a deliberate lie on the government's part. But what are your thoughts? As always, let us know all about it in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. World War II Propaganda If you found that last one somewhat comedic in nature, it's partially because I wanted to lighten the blow for the next one. Because I'm going to World War II and talking about some things that were done to multiple sides in the war in order to try and prove their points and get people on their side. For the case of one Adolf Hitler, he used the big lie to basically get all of Germany on his side. His belief was that the Jewish people were responsible for basically everything that went wrong with Germany, including the loss of World War I. And so he used the big lie to state that they were the issue and should be locked up and then kept repeating it over and over and over again. He wrote in his book Mein Kampf that people are only capable of doing small lies most times, and also believe that other people won't do big ones. So thus, by telling someone something over and over again, they begin to believe that it's true. It's a kind of psychological manipulation that should be very easy for you all to believe would happen, as many are using it today. But in World War II, it was because of the propaganda that Hitler became the leader of Germany and almost took over all of Europe. But to be clear on something, he wasn't the only one who was doing that. America used a version of that as well in regards to the Japanese. Never forget that the United States locked up Japanese American citizens for safety reasons during World War II because they believed they could potentially be enemy spies, even if they had been living in America for years. They used their own propaganda to label them as devils, and the American people latched onto that and even destroyed their homes while they were in the camps that they were put in. Number 18. The Greatest Showman 
now we'll get back to a bit more lighthearted of lies, where we're going to expose a lie about one P.T. Barnum, who many of you may know from the musical The Greatest Showman, that starred the one and only Hugh Jackman. The movie was a bit of a hit not only because of Jackman, but because of how the character of Barnum was displayed, how he was always all in on the performances, always looking for talent, and wanting to bring show business to the world that he felt could use some entertainment, as well as the lessons he learned along the way about love and his family. However, it should be noted that this isn't exactly what happened. For example, he didn't invent show business, nor did he invent the circus. However, what he did do was to try and make people entertained and give him money by any means necessary. In fact, not unlike the movie, Barnum's life was partially all about lying. He was always ready to concoct some fun or lay plans for a money-making scheme. But hard work was decidedly not in his life. Yeah, that's the truth. He was famous and infamous for saying and doing almost anything at times in order to get people to come to his businesses and later his circuses. He did enjoy the curiosities of life and tried to use them to entrance people. He knew that even if they were being lied to, they could be entertained and he used that to his advantage for many years. To be fair, he did eventually make the largest three-ring circus ever seen before, but it was partially because he merged with another circus and did various other things that were considered controversial at the time. But say what you will about the man and his lack of truth-telling, he really knew how to put on a show. Number 17. The Black Sox now we'll head to the world of sports, where more than one lie has been told over its many, many years and many different versions, but I'm going to talk to you now about arguably one of the most infamous and still debated incidents in that of the Chicago White Sox, who, after a key scandal, would be labeled the Black Sox. While I'm not going to go into the details, the lie was about who and how the scandal went down, because it's still debated who was actually in on it and how the whole plan was supposed to go. You see, in 1919, the Chicago White Sox were one of the best teams in baseball, if not the best team. So them being in the World Series that year was not unexpected to true fans, but then they lost the series in a way that was completely befuddling. Even in the days before stats and slow motion, people knew that something was very wrong. Eventually, it would be revealed that gambling had led to the loss of the series. Eight players were indicted and tried for the crimes, which included famous hitter Shoeless Joe Jackson. This led to many things happening in Major League Baseball, which includes the prohibition of gambling on games, as well as the creation of the commissioner position, both of which are still in play to this day. The lie, if you will, is that it was only the players who were in on it. In fact, the players tried to back out of it after the second game of the series and could have won it if their opponents didn't have some really good pitchers. But because of media and the outcry about the cheating in America's sport, only the players were truly blamed and many potentially honorable men were banned from the game for life. Number 16. Cuban Missile Crisis you have to ask yourself, how close were we to nuclear war in our lifetime? That's a lie and a truth that's heavily debated over the years, because the doomsday clock, as it was so aptly noted, would have you believe that we were on the brink of destruction during a key 13-day period back in October of 1962 due to the events of the Cuban Missile Crisis. However, whether we were or not is honestly all in how you perceive things. Remember that we were at the peak of the Cold War then, and the United States and the then-Soviet Union were squaring off in all the ways that mattered so that they could try and one-up each other. The Olympics, the race to the moon, and more. The Cuban Missile Crisis happened when Soviet allies in Cuba were open to hosting missiles on their country so that they could strike at the U.S. on their command. One such missile was allegedly photographed being made in Cuba by passing U.S. planes, and so a tense standoff that would last 13 days began. The United States was up for going so far as to blockade Cuba in order to ensure more missiles didn't reach their shores, where Russia was more than up for calling their bluff and sending ships of their own. The standoff put the entire planet on edge, and thankfully for all, cooler heads prevailed, 
The Soviets agreed to remove the plan to put missiles in Cuba, and the United States also agreed to do the same with Turkey. Now, history will tell you that this was one of the greatest threats to the world ever, but in truth, it was one of the best demonstrations of peace prevailing over war. We still haven't had a nuclear war in this world, and as long as cooler heads prevail like they did in 1962, it will surely never happen. Number 15. Codebreaker well, this one's not so much of a lie as it is about hiding the truth. Because in major wars, keeping one's communication secret were vital due to the way that signals could be intercepted back in those days. You might know about how the Allies in World War II were able to crack the Enigma Code and help to beat the Germans because of it. Well, that also happened with the Japanese, as a code of theirs was cracked and thus led to the eventual success of the war in the Pacific. Elvin Urquhart was a codebreaker who helped the United States Navy break the Japanese Navy General Operational Code, or JN25, during World War II. According to him, the Japanese used a system of sibyllic writing called kana in their code. Because the Japanese script could not be transmitted over the wire, the Japanese had to use the Latin alphabet instead, pairing letters to transliterate the Japanese language. After learning how they were using ship in the code, they were able to break down the code piece by piece, and as a result, they were able to learn about a massive attack that was going to happen at a place called Midway. Yes, that Midway, the turning point in that part of the water. The Americans were able to defeat the Japanese there and began a push that would end with their surrender in 1945. If that code had not been cracked, the United States might have well lost the Battle of the Pacific. Number 14. The Fake Anastasia now, here's a lie that was so grandiose that they actually made an animated movie about it. It was pretty good, actually, and they also made live-action ones as well, but uh, who cares about that? This is the story of Grand Duchess Anastasia, the youngest daughter of Tsar Nicholas II of Russia's ill-fated royal family. In 1918, when the revolution in Russia had begun, the royal family was slated to be murdered by their former staff. However, things didn't go as planned, and their bodies simply disappeared. This led to many rumors that one of the family might have survived. Enter a few years later, when a young girl would be taken to a mental hospital after she tried to take her own life. A paper soon passed by her and asked if the young Anastasia was still alive. She noted then that it was her, and a fairy tale and controversy began at the same time. Because to some, she was the hope that the royal family wasn't dead, and many exiles from the old guard came to her and revealed to her various things about life in Russia and so on. They were so desperate for her to be real that others actually challenged her and for many years she fought them hard. Eventually, though, it would be revealed that she was indeed Anna Anderson, a Polish farm girl. As for the real Anastasia, she was eventually confirmed to be dead via bones that were found with the rest of her family. Sadly, this is a fairy tale that did not have a happy ending. Number 13. Watergate Richard Nixon is famous for saying, I am not a crook, but everyone with common sense at the time knew well and better. Well, I'm not a crook. I burned everything I've got. This is easily one of the biggest scandals in the history of the United States presidency, though to be clear, it's not the first and definitely not the last. It occurred at the end of Nixon's first and only term as president. The nation was still in the Vietnam War, and much like today, it was divided. Nixon and his team felt that they had to be aggressive in order to come out on top. So men that worked for Nixon broke into the Democratic National Committee's Watergate headquarters, stole copies of top secret documents, and then bug the office phones. They would be soon arrested, and that's when the lies and scandal really began. Because Nixon did all that he could within his power as the president to try and cover it up. And eventually it would be revealed that Nixon had secret conversation tapes that proved that he was guilty. And no sooner did he finally release them than he resigned from the office. It's something that no one had done before, and no one has done since. His successor, Gerald Ford, would pardon Nixon in order for the nation to heal. And ever since then, the Watergate scandal has been one of the biggest discussions about lies, abuse of power, and what some will do to get a victory. Number 12. The Ponzi Scheme 
Now we all know the name, but do you know the man that basically lied to the world? Charles Ponzi was an Italian immigrant who came up with a scheme that would not only make him money, but con a whole lot of people out of the world. He basically took the notion of getting people's money, and then getting more people's money to pay off the ones who came before him. Wash, rinse, repeat, cash the freaking check. It may sound easy, almost too easy in fact, and yet he did it, and he was living large. He opened up his own business, lived in a nice house, had a staff to help do his scheme, and even bought a freaking locomotive, and so much more. All the while though, he was just spinning plates in the air. The initial scheme involved securities exchanges, but a key flaw in his plan led to him not having a way to actually make certain money off of what he promised. Eventually, people caught on to his scam, and after a series of attempts to stay free, he would be caught, jailed, rearrested, and jailed again. All told, he ended up costing people about $20 million, which is about $200 million in today's money. Many people were crippled because of it, hence the name, the Ponzi Scheme. Which, sadly, is much more than a catchy name, because as we all know in modern times, many people have used this scheme to try and make money themselves. Enron, Pyramid Schemes, and more have all used it to horrifying effect. And that is Ponzi's true legacy. Number 11. D-Day Landing Spot Anyone who has studied World War II knows that the key battle that would change the war and the world in many ways was that of D-Day. The invasion of Normandy gave the Allied forces, via the United States and others, to have a foothold in France and then slowly make their way through Europe to stop the German forces. But the United States and their allies also knew that they couldn't just do the invasion. The Germans were too ingrained in the region. They had to do everything they could to make people think that they weren't going to invade Normandy and instead invade somewhere else. And thus, this began the greatest deception ever in military, to make Germany think that the US was actually going to attack from Great Britain and go across the Gulf. They even used General Patton, whom Hitler knew was a fierce and leading general in the war, to literally be in the UK and leak out his location along with his army, which was inflatable believe it or not, so that they knew where Patton was. After all, what reasonable army would go into battle without their head general? The ruse worked, and while Normandy was not a cakewalk, the German forces were scattered out enough that the United States could come right in and get their foothold. Without D-Day, the war may have gone on much longer, and many more lives may have been lost. Number 10. The Pentagon Papers now, I warned you that the Watergate scandal wasn't the first U.S. controversy involving a U.S. president, nor will it be the last, and the Pentagon Papers are a great example of that. These were massive sets of documents that were leaked to the press via the New York Times and were even taken to the Supreme Court in order for them to be published despite government interference. Very loosely, the Pentagon Papers showcased how a string of four presidents from Harry S. Truman to Lyndon B. Johnson did various things to try and prevent Vietnam from becoming a fully communist nation. This was well and before the actual involvement of the United States in the Vietnam War, and they did their best to keep said involvement hidden. Obviously, it didn't work, and the controversy around it and the lies that were told still exist to this day. Number 9. Chernobyl the meltdown of the number 4 reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear plant is still widely considered to be one of the greatest disasters the world has ever known. Not the least of which is because the spread of radioactive material can still be seen today via the abandoned city of Pripyat. But the lies that were told about it are all still very haunting, so much so that an HBO series was actually made about it. Those in charge of Russia straight up lied about everything that happened in order to cover up the mistake, from lying about the safety of the plant to what happened to the fallout, the lies were numerous and took years to fully uncover. Some people just won't admit when they're wrong. Number 8. Magicians in War this one may seem like I'm lying to you outright, but apparently it's true. You see, a human mind is susceptible to acts of wonder and illusion to the extent that if you're not careful, you'll actually believe that you're seeing something that you're not, like a certain man making the Statue of Liberty disappear before your very eyes. Anyways, throughout the ages, world-class magicians like Houdini were apparently used to mesmerizing certain individuals and groups into making them believe that actual magic was happening and that certain acts of their shouldn't be done unless they wanted to face 
use their magic. In fact, Houdini was said to have trained soldiers in how to escape things like handcuffs and sinking ships, and just goes to prove that sometimes all you need is a clever person, apparently. Number 7. The Ukraine Genocide Going to very recent times, in 2017, Georgian political economic portal Politicano made a blog about the event known as Holomador in the Ukraine, an event widely stated to be a genocide by most rational people. But we aren't talking about rational people now, are we? No, in fact, we're not. The person who made that post told three massive lies in order to try and undermine the event, and basically said that the Great Famine was anything but that, and as a result, the Ukrainian government government was doing nothing more than lying to its people. Obviously, this has been exposed as a falsehood for various reasons, but the fact that someone would try to undermine a genocide, that's just plain wrong. Number 6. Smoking Doesn't Kill You well, you should have known that this one was coming. There are a whole lot of vices in this world that were created to literally make people dependent on them and thus spend money on them as well. One of the biggest ones was cigarettes. The nicotine in the cigarette is addictive and thus you'll want to smoke it more. At first, nobody really seemed to mind because, you know, smoking was cool and all, and the ads that were put on television helped to emphasize that in a major way. But then it would be revealed by scientists who actually know actual things that smoking could kill you and tried to stop their sale. But the people at Big Tobacco didn't enjoy that and repeatedly stated that smoking doesn't kill you, even when they were being brought up by Congress on that. Let's be clear here, it can and does kill you. It can cause cancer and other health defects, so you shouldn't smoke. Don't die, just make those greedy fools more money. Number 5. Weapons of Mass Destruction yeah, another one you likely saw coming. When George W. Bush was president of the United States of America, he went to war with both Afghanistan and Iraq over two major issues. The first, of course, was the terrorist attacks on 9-11, which most agreed was justified as the country wanted payback. The invasion of Iraq, though, was under the belief that there were nuclear weapons in the country and that there was proof of that. The so-called proof spread and everyone believed Mr. President. And can you guess the problem? Well, yeah, there were no nuclear weapons in Iraq. Now, on one hand, the United States did depose a ruthless tyrant in Saddam Hussein, but was the lie of why they went in worth the results? Given what Iraq and Afghanistan are like right now in a lot of key ways, most would probably argue with you that it's no. Number 4. Is the Trojan Horse a True Myth? Yes, we know that Greek mythology is full of myths, but the story of the Trojan War was often considered a fantasized version of what really happened to the ancient city of Troy, which many do agree was burned down in ancient times. But many have debated over the years that there might have actually been a Trojan horse that was used in some capacity. Though as to the true size of it, well, that's obviously been discussed at length. Many now believe that it was nothing more than a fable, an image to further fantasize the fight, especially since since in Greek mythology, the gods themselves came into battle at points to support some of their favorite humans. All truth be told, it would be difficult to imagine a massive horse being built and then rolled into the city, but then again, it wouldn't be the biggest thing that was ever built by a dedicated group of people. Number 3. Forgeries now we'll talk about a lie that's made a lot of people a lot of money. People like the famous Han van Meegeren, who were great for one thing and one thing only, that was making forgeries of art. Now if you have the right eye and the talent, along with the correct materials, you could in theory make a forgery of just about anything. A painting, a statue, a music box, a legendary egg of Russian royalty, and of course money. The art of making forgeries is one of the prized crafts in the criminal underworld. The ones who are best at it are archived in history, and we often remember their names over the ones who stopped them. The lie is in the game itself, though. You make the forgery and sell it as though it were the real thing. One gets rich, and the other gets fooled. Number 2. Stonehenge 
No, the lie isn't that Stonehenge doesn't exist. We obviously all know that it does. I mean, you can even see it on Google Maps for Pete's sake. Or, you know, by actually going to Europe and seeing it live. You know, whatever. The lie here is that because of the mystery that is Stonehenge and its construction, that all sorts of conspiracy theories have been made up about what it really is, who built it, and why. Movies and television shows have gotten in on the act, which includes one popular cartoon series stating that it was part of a magical cult in order to get true power, and it turned out to be a signal to summon aliens. It was really awesome. It's true that nobody knows enough about Stonehenge to really understand its full history, but what we do know is that it was clearly man-made, so that should debunk many of the lies right there. Well, for now at least. Number 1. Superior Races and Genders Sadly, I have to end this video on a somber note, because right now in the world there are a set of lies that are continuing to build and grow more popular, even though they've been debunked many times over. I speak of course about how certain parties and groups believe that certain genders are better than others, that there are superior races and that one deserves more rights than the others. This is a lie. You can be better talented, have more skills and abilities due to hard work and be smarter than someone, but you are not better or more superior overall. Yet some don't understand that, and it's exactly why racism and misogyny still exists in our world. Until this lie is cast out, we're probably all doomed to keep making the same mistake. That's all from the realm of lies and what dangers they've created at points. Do you look at any of these stories and wonder just how so many people believed in them? And do you think there are even more lies going on right now that we need to address and stop? Will you stop lying to yourself in the future? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.